welcome to Adorama TV. My name is Marcin Lewandowski and I'm a professional photographer. Today I'm going to look at the 105mm f2.8G EDIF AFS VR micro lens from Nikon. It's a medium telephoto lens with macro capabilities that can be used on FX as well as on DX cameras and on the latter it will give you an equivalent of 160mm. The macro abilities of this lens are what we call true macro, meaning it's capable of one-to-one -one magnification which on any Nikon FX camera translates to filling the whole frame with an object measuring roughly 35 by 24 millimeters. The minimum focusing distance between the photographed object and sensor is 31.4 centimeters. That's exactly one foot which means the distance from end of the lens barrel to the photograph object is only around 15 centimeters, 6 inches. As expected of top Nikkor lenses, its build quality is top notch. The all metal alloy body is easy to handle and provides a nice balance to the camera. It also features a moisture seal at its mount, providing an extra layer of protection. The lens has three switches, one to turn on and off autofocus, one to turn on and off focus limiter and one to turn on and off the VR system about which I will tell you in just a moment. Let's look at some features of this macro lens. Let's have a closer look at the writing on the barrel. One of the more prominent symbols along abbreviations ED and N, which I will explain later in this video, are red letters VR. This stands for vibration reduction. This macro lens is already quite fast, offering maximum aperture of 2.8, and the Mark II vibration reduction system spices things up, allowing us to use this lens with shutter open for up to four stops longer. This makes it an amazing choice for use in low light situations without the need for a tripod. If we would measure this in aperture stops, it would be faster than f1. This is world's first macro lens equipped with VR. We mentioned that at the wide open end, this lens offer aperture of 2.8, but as we shoot macro and we need more depth of field, this lens offers aperture of f32, increasing to simply fantastic f57 when focusing from the closest possible distance. As you can imagine, the glass on this lens has to be high quality, and you're right. This lens uses nanocrystal technology coating developed by Nikon to virtually eliminate internal reflections and to reduce both ghosting and flare. It also uses an extra low dispersion element called ED in short, offering substantially minimized chromatic aberration. Both of these solutions add up and help in making this lens sharp like a samurai sword. One of the systems, not mentioned on the lens barrel but appearing in its full name, is the IF, meaning internal focusing. The inclusion of this system means that all optical movement of this lens elements is limited to the interior of its barrel and nothing outside of it rotates, making it perfect for use with, for example, a circular polarizer. The filter attachment size is 62 millimeters. Now that we are on the focusing mechanism, it's worth mentioning that it's very fast and accurate, but also offers instant manual focus override, which you can use at any time. Another great feature is the silent wave motor. This feature enables silent autofocusing, giving this lens another great advantage in situations like wildlife photography when we don't want to disturb living creatures, but also when photographing quiet situations like wedding ceremonies or theater performances. Less noise, less disruptions. One thing you will notice when looking at photographs shot with this lens is the beautiful bokeh it produces thanks to its 9-blade diaphragm design. Out-of-focus features are smooth and perfectly circular at all apertures. I guarantee that in terms of bokeh, you will be very pleased. Just to summarize what we were talking about, this 105mm Nikkor macro lens is a very durable performer, giving consistent results in many different situations. 
2.8 maximum aperture allows us to shoot in low light and to produce nice shallow depth of field from long distance down to true macro level. Fast and silent focusing makes us confident that we won't lose a frame, especially in the important moments. Glass quality would provide pin sharp edge to edge output. It's really a great performer on many different fronts and can be extremely useful not only for macro photographers, but also for portrait, wedding, sport, landscape, as well as for more general fields of photography. Thank you for joining me today on Adorama TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for much more. We have other reviews for you in the works. And if you have any thoughts or questions, please just leave us a comment. If you would also like to improve your own photography skills, check out this Adorama Learning Center for some great tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Adorama TV. Hope to see you again soon. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums,